Ah, uh, good morning. It's me, Ma and Par, and we are at the Western Slope Cattlemen's Livestock Auction because guess what? Today is definitely auction day here in Western Colorado. So I'm going to kind of give you guys a little peek of what we do step by step of the way through here. Um, this is a really hard day for us, so if I'm not as up and pleasant as normal, please understand. But here we are, and the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to walk over to that door over there, right down in there. And I'm going to go get a catalog and see what horses are here. And while I do that, Par is going to walk over and check out the tack and see if there's anything that we can't live without. So here we go. I went into the office and I grabbed the catalog so I could know what horses that I'm looking at. And it tells me all about the different features. And it goes to the first horses. And I'm not too worried about any of these horses that are cataloged. They are going to have such a reserve on them that they will not be in danger. But I just want to show you this is what this looks like as we start through this. So in Western Colorado, we're actually in Grand Junction, we do not have a tack store at all that we can go find new tack and good tack. So when we find someone here from Hotchkiss, we are really elated that he brings it down here. So we're going to check out everything that he has. Okay, this is one of my most favorite things to do is check out Tack. I love it. And get acquainted with him because we go up to the Hotchkiss Eckerd area all the time. And this would be a really good um, asset to have and a good contact to have. So this is our step, next step is I'm going to go visit with these people. Okay, here we go. We're walking in. This is what it looks like. It's not too muddy, so I didn't put on my mud, mud boots, which is good. So here's our first one. I'm guessing he's probably in the catalog sale because they usually keep the catalog sale horses up here first. And then the next two are here. And I'm going to spin. I'm going to try not to spin too much, but see, they've got a couple horses saddled there ready to go. And then coming down this line. We have these two horses. Oh, I'm going to get their cards up. So I'm going to get their card. There's a pretty little bay. And it looks like a little chestnut. Let's see what the card says. And it says that this is a I'm not sure what it says. I probably just put you on the thing, but this is what I see on the card. Let me get it up here for you. It says there's no marks and it's a bay. No brand. And what do you have? Can you read what it says? It's a sorrel, gelding, blaze, lower lip. You has an age? Right front part stocking, lower hind rear high part stocking. Okay. But no age or anything. So that's what we have. We have these two horses. It's all the information we have on them. We're going to keep moving on. I wanted to show you this pen. There are four gildings in the back that are paints. This is the white one with a little bit of red on him. And then there's a white one back there with a little bit of black on him. There's a sorrel gilding over there. But I want you to check this horse out. Sorry for the bars. But there is a buckskin gilding paint that is absolutely gorgeous back there. Just stunningly beautiful. And then there are two horses up here that have not gotten their brand inspections done yet. So I don't know what they are. I just wanted to let you This is the next pin. And there are three little horses in here. I know no information about them. But they are <laughs> talking. Last little horses. Okay, so here's the next one that we found on our walkabout. He is a bay gilding. And he has a saddle on, which probably means they're going to ride him through. And usually when they ride a horse through, they're fairly safe. So I'm not too anxious about this horse. We're running across our next horse. And 
He's also got a saddle on. I'm not too worried about him. He's very flashy. He's a sorrow with a flaxen mane and tail. His legs look really good. Real nice horse. So we have a black half Percheron mare in front who we just commented would make a really nice vaulting horse. Very flashy, very solid. Behind her is a roan gilding who is um, ran a ranch horse. He can rope anything in the arena, it says. And he's a good horse to ride for any level. Same with the Percheron mare, good mare to ride at any level rider. But these two, and I'm not worried about these horses. I think they'll be very safe. They look beautiful, well-trained, should be safe. Real pretty little Palomino. Very flashy. Lots of chrome. He's a gilding. Let me get to the side so you can see him all. There he is. Isn't he beautiful? Just want to let you know and see him.